These are the tools you need to change your ECT 1 and 2. The coolant temperature sensor is right here. It's easy to get to. It's really high up in the system, so we're not really going to need to drain too much coolant, but we are going to drain just a little bit so we don't make a mess. You might not actually need to, depending on how much coolant is in your car, but it wouldn't hurt just to do a little bit. We're going to start things off by opening up the radiator cap. Before you do this, make sure everything is completely cooled down. We don't want hot fluid spraying it all over the place. Just to play it safe, we're gonna use a rag, put on some safety glasses, and just slowly loosen it, and then put the cap aside. We're under the car. You don't need to take the splash shield off to drain the coolant. There's a handy little access port right here. If you reach up inside, there's a little gray valve you can turn to open up the petcock. If it's a little tight, you can use a pair of pliers, but it shouldn't be that bad. So we'll just open that up, and once we do, the coolant's gonna drain out right here, so we've got our drip tray ready. For this repair, we don't need to drain too much, so I'm gonna stop it there. Squeeze the tab on the back of the connector, and pull up. Now a deep 17 millimeter socket. There isn't much torque here, so this shouldn't be hard to remove. And here's the old sensor. One thing to notice, there's an O-ring that should be right here. It looks like it was left behind, so I'm gonna grab a pick and I'm gonna pry that out to make sure that we don't accidentally put the new one in with two O-rings. Chris, sometimes the parts come without an O-ring. Would it be okay to reuse the O-ring? Uh, in an emergency you can, it would be a really good idea to replace it though. If the new one didn't come with one, then um, you could probably get one at the Honda parts counter. We'll include a part number in the description for the video. Okay, so here's the old part and the new part with the brand new O-ring. It is of note that the coolant temperature sensor on the top of the engine and on the bottom of the radiator is the same part. All right, we'll just thread this in by hand. and torque to 8.7 foot-pounds or 104 inch-pounds. Plug in the connector. And that's it. Your second coolant temperature sensor sits at the bottom of the radiator. It's right around here. To get to it most easily, we're gonna take off the splash shield. All right, to remove the clip, you take a trim removal tool or a screwdriver, pry it under the cap, you might need to work it a little bit, pry down, this releases the clip, and then you can just pull. If you're lucky, it's gonna come off like that, but you're probably gonna break a few of them, so it might be a good idea to have a spare or two ready. There you go, first broken clip. Now we've got two clips in the wheel well. Right now we're on the driver's side. One right here and one on the back there. And then finally, there's a little tab right here that's usually in that hole. You can see it popped out on its own, but you might need to wiggle it a little bit just to pop it out. Now we'll go do the other side, which is exactly the same. Where ECT2 is so low in the system, right at the bottom of the radiator, you've got to drain the entire system or you're going to make a huge mess. This could take a while, so I'm going to go take a break. This is coolant temperature sensor number two, right here. First we'll disconnect this cable by squeezing it on the tab and pulling. Now we take a 17 millimeter socket, slide it over. Watch out, a little bit of coolant could come out here. And there it is. 
We're gonna thread in the new one by hand. Is there a torque spec for this one, Chris? 8.7 foot-pounds or 104 inch-pounds. Don't get those backwards. Then we plug the connector back in. Now we're ready to fill up the coolant. Before we start filling up the coolant, I'm just gonna double check and make sure that the petcock is completely closed on the radiator. There's nothing worse than hearing all your expensive brand new coolant pouring all over the floor. Depending on the kind of car you have, whether it's two or four door or automatic or manual transmission, there's a different amount of coolant that it calls for. It's all a little bit over five liters. We'll include the actual capacities for each type of car in the description of the video. So we're gonna fill up to the top of the filler neck. Then we're just gonna squeeze our radiator hoses a little bit just to try to get out any trapped air. And then top it up again. Now we're gonna bleed any remaining air out of the system. First, we're gonna loosely install the radiator cap. We're not gonna tighten it because we don't want it to hold any pressure. Okay, one of the last steps of burping all the air out of the system is to start the car, run it at idle until the radiator fan comes on, goes off, comes on again a second time, at which point you're gonna turn the key off and then top off again and you're done. Chris, get her going. All right, coolant's all topped up. Now we're gonna start the motor again and we're just gonna double check for leaks. We're gonna make sure there's no coolant bubbling out around ECT1. We're gonna check the bottom of the radiator down here for leaks coming from ECT2. All right, we're gonna install the splash shield. We've got the surviving clips. I've got a case of generic clips. I bought these online. They're not very expensive. They're worth having lying around if you're gonna do this more than once. And now we're just gonna pop back in. Reinserting all 12 clips. Reinsert the tabs on both sides in the front of the fender. And then two clips per side. Perfect. So that's it. That's pretty easy, huh? This was the number two related repair on this car that's associated with the, your check engine light. So get your uh, codes reset and get this vehicle back on the road. We hope this saved you time. We hope this saved you money. If it did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Until next time, fear no fix.